Did you know that the ocean occupies over 70% of the Earth's surface? Whether you live near the coast or far inland, the ocean affects us all. Water and food supplies, storms and droughts are all influenced by the ocean. As human activity continues to impact our ocean environment and global climate change causes warming waters and sea level rise, it's critical to stay aware of what's going on in the ocean. In the past, most of our knowledge about the ocean came from shipboard measurements. However, this method only gave us brief snapshots of ocean conditions. Scientists needed information that covered large areas over a continuous period of time. Now we use a global network of instruments that continually gathers data about the ocean, which can be accessed by just about anyone. We have a choice in observing the ocean, using a boat, going out, hopping, going out to sea, measuring things. But because things change so fast, we need to be out there all the time, every minute. And the only way we can do that is put sensors out there or use radar remote sensing. Ocean observing instruments use state-of-the-art technology to measure parameters, including temperature, currents, wave height, salinity, chlorophyll, and oxygen. Satellites sense the ocean from far above. Stationary buoys in the water communicate information directly to land-based computers to be accessed via the internet. Roving sensors can travel remotely through the water and radio information to receivers. We don't understand the variability of the ocean. It changes hour to hour, day to day, and we need, need to know that, under, that variability to predict important things like climate change, air-sea interaction, but also we need to know very practically what the, especially the coastal ocean is doing on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. One way we use the data provided by ocean observing systems is to help us measure and track ocean currents like the Gulf Stream and other physical parameters like waves and water temperature. This information is useful for a wide range of people, from ship captains navigating ocean waters to surfers who want to know the best time to catch some good waves. We can also use ocean observing systems to help track and better predict climate patterns and extreme weather events. The ocean and the atmosphere are tightly linked, so changes in ocean conditions can indicate changes in climate patterns, like the El Nino Southern Oscillation, which is known to cause storms and droughts throughout the world. Have you ever wondered where a hurricane will reach landfall? The path of a hurricane is determined by conditions in the ocean and the atmosphere, so using ocean observing systems can also help us better understand the weather that affects us every day. Have you ever been fishing and tried to guess where you might catch lots of fish? Aquatic organisms prefer and seek out certain conditions, like water with a specific temperature or salinity range. Some marine organisms can also ride ocean currents to migrate. If you know where and when the water will be a certain temperature, for example, or where the current is going, you can better predict where a certain critter will be. Technology now allows us to closely monitor ocean conditions. We investigate tides and currents, locate sea creatures, explore the effect of the ocean on climate and weather, or learn about countless other aspects of the ocean, all through the eyes of ocean observing systems.